Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Uh, happy Saturday. What is today? The 5th. Happy Saturday, November 5th. We're getting close to, to Thanksgiving, guys. That time of the year. I'm bundled up a little bit. I'm, I'm fighting the cold. I'm a week into my 50s. Um, and just uh, wanted to check in with you guys really quickly. Um, so last night, we had a, a, a championship, uh, a de facto championship game uh, for the high school that I coach and my son plays for. Uh, Christopher High School uh, in Gilroy, California, played against uh, another great program, uh, Live Oak High School in Morgan Hill, California. Now these two teams have been rivals for about a decade. Um, these two teams um, came into the contest at eight and one, and there was a championship for the league a three-way championship on the line for us, an outright championship uh, on the on the line for them. So uh, it was it was epic. It was it was it was a it was a it was a you know a great environment, a championship game, rivalry game environment. Uh, but you guys know me, right? I don't I don't approach life from the standpoint of entertainment too often. Even as a parent, I'm a, I'm a coach, so obviously it's different. But even as a parent, at my son or daughter's events or, or, or games, uh, I don't really approach it um, primarily as, as entertainment, like many parents do, which is okay. Um, and even as a coach, I don't approach it solely from the standpoint of, of winning and losing. Now, I prepare my team. I'm also the strength coach and conditioning coach, uh, I prepare my team and my defensive backs from the DB coach, I prepare them to win, uh, but it's not my primary focus. What I look for in life, what I look for in, in uh, sports is opportunities to, to, to glean information, right? To, to uh, extract value from circumstances and then either use them myself, but more importantly, to, to use what God's given me, the ability to extrapolate from that environment, from that contest, from that game, useful information that's valuable for people of all ages, especially young people. Now in this contest, in this, in this situation, there were many kids on the opposing team that I know, that I've coached or trained or mentored directly. So, and it was the, like the fifth time we played a, a team whose quarterback, who my defensive backs have to have to defend, was a kid that I know or I've trained or I've coached. So I go into it as a coach trying to win, trying to get my team ready, but I'm also trying to mentor and coach every everybody I talk to, everybody I touch, everybody who knows me. So it's always challenging when you are facing kids you also love, right? I love I love children, I love people, I love helping people. So it's always a dichotomy, right? A struggle, a, 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 a tug of war going on. So last night, we, you know, we won. I didn't even mention that because it's not important. We won um, a close game, but I want you guys to, to listen and learn from five takeaways that I have that I think will help student athletes of all levels, all sports, and parents, and even teenagers who don't play sports. Uh, there are five lessons that I that I thought about this morning that are takeaways from the game. So here they are. Have them printed out. Number one, number one, greatness comes with risk. Right? I was super nervous all week. I was super nervous pregame. And a part of part of us wants to run and hide in those moments, right? Before a big test, before you go on stage to sing or do a speech, before you, you know, go into a big ball game, before you step up to the to the line to shoot winning free throws, before you get into the batter's box uh, with bases loaded, uh, all of these opportunities before you interview for a big a big opportunity before you ask that, that girl or boy out for a date. All these moments that you know on the other side of that 
is greatness, they all come with risk. Risk of loss, risk of embarrassment, risk of being judged. And I wanna tell you guys that that is normal. That in order to be great, you have to risk something. In order to accomplish and achieve and grow and become somebody that's remembered, you have to be willing to lose, willing to fail, willing to fall, willing to be embarrassed. There's no way around it. I tell a story all the time about, about my son shooting free throws when he was playing AAU basketball when he was a baby. Not a baby, when he was, when he was young. And he missed a game-winning free throw. And he was hurt by it. And a part of me as a parent was hurt by it. And in the moment, a part of me as a parent wanted to remove him from that situation. And I told him this. And I said, only for a moment because the bigger part of me, the bigger part of what I want him to become knows that in order to be the kid that makes the winning free throw, in order to be the team that wins the championship, in order to be the person who gets hired for that big time role, you have to be willing to risk it, willing to miss the free throw, willing to get denied the opportunity, willing to lose a championship. That's the only way to put yourself in situations like that. And the more you do that, the bigger you grow. But you will lose. You will fall in some of those situations. So number one of the five is greatness comes with risk. Number two, as long as you honor the fight in your life, the battles, right? You cannot lose. If you're studying for a test and you honor what you know is necessary to do well on the test. Whatever you get is fine. If you are getting ready for a game and you've honored every practice leading up to it, there is no dishonor in losing the game. If you have done everything in your power to be the best parent you can be, and you honor the, the time you have with your son and daughter, and, you, and you're not distracted, and you, and you cherish all the small stuff that you know is boring, but you honor it. Whatever happens in that relationship, you can handle, you can deal with. So I want both teams to know, Live Oak and, and, and Christopher, to know that if you honor the journey, if you are a, a warrior in the battle, and you have honored the struggle like warriors do, there is no dishonor. Right? And whatever the parents and the fans and the media say about 22 young people who are playing a football game, whatever they say is irrelevant because only you 22 on the field know what it takes to honor a struggle in a football game. So honor the fight in whatever you're doing. Respect what it takes to get a good grade. Respect what it takes to be a good football player or basketball player or field hockey player or volleyball player. Respect what it means to be a good parent. Respect what it means to, to do what it has, you, you have to do to grow in your career. And if you do that, you will never lose. Even when you fall down, you won't lose. Even when you lose a game, you won't lose because you're honoring the fight. That's number two. Number three, life. I tell my kids all the time, Kids I train, my, my team. The football game is about two hours, right? But only about five minutes of it matter, right? The 10 seconds that you're rushing the quarterback, the five seconds you're carrying the ball, the one split second you have to make a catch for a first down. It's micro moments, right? As a parent, it's the same thing. It ain't 18 years of raising a kid it's about 25 moments, right? 25 moments that decide how that relationship will, will evolve over time. So when you are in moments that are hard and distracting and challenge you, number one, recognize that this is one of those moments that I can grow from and learn from. And the more you recognize that they're gonna come, it makes you prepare better for when they come. And when you recognize that if I missed the ball, it wasn't that I wasn't ready for it in the moment. It's that I didn't prepare for the moment. So you prepare knowing that there's going to be five chances in a game 
to make a play. And you might prepare for five months for those five chances. Right? So life's about moments. And you're doing all this work, you're doing all this studying, all this work for a micro amount of time. And trust me, the moments are worth the grind. Right? One of my kids got an interception. First time of his career on varsity. And I've been riding him for, for years. And the look on his face when he got the interception, the moment that he that he experienced, those 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 two or three minutes of joy was worth two or three years of pain. So embrace it. Embrace the fact that I have to do all this studying. Yes, all these hours. Yes, because when you get your report card, that 10 seconds that you show your parent what you got is worth all of that. So life is about moments. I know it seems long. I know it seems arduous and hard and challenging, but it comes down to getting ready for those moments. All right. Number four, there are no absolutes. There are there are no black. It's not black and white, right? People even last week, you know, they asked me how the game went. I said we beat the last team we played, thirty something, I think thirty eight to zero, and they're like, wow, congratulations. I was like, um, okay, because. There, there's way more in the underbelly of that number, who you played, how good they are. Did you play to your ability or were you the best version of you regardless of who you played? All those things matter to me. Right now we're now we're nine and one, right? We beat a great team. What does that mean? Well, it means that we could have lost, right? They were as good as us. They, they were a play here, a play there. We could have lost. So, so, so it felt good to win, of course. Right, and it felt it felt horrible for them to lose, of course. But there are no absolutes. Maybe the loss that they had propels them to victory next week in the playoffs. And the feeling they had is enough to to really make them upset enough to not want to feel that again. So now maybe they go on a four game spurt and win four in a row and become champions. And maybe it won't happen, hopefully, because I'm the leader mentally of my of my team. But maybe winning means that we relax too much and we feel good about coming this far and are satisfied with being league champs. And maybe that hurts us. So you just take all of it as information, as data, right? And reflect, right? And I, I feel good about that. I want, I want more of it, but how did I get here? I feel good about that, but was I, my, was I the best version of me, right? We lost, right? But why we lose? I didn't play well. I didn't do well in the test. What can I do better? Right? So all these things are merely opportunities for us to learn and grow. Right? No absolutes. You're not great. You're not horrible. You didn't win. You didn't lose. Right? It, it, life isn't, life, life isn't, isn't over today. So you have to get up the next day and, and go to work. Right? You lost today. Your life ain't over. You have to get up tomorrow and go to work. You won today. Life ain't over. Got to get up tomorrow and go to work, right? So there are no absolutes. And then the last one, which is related, this thing called life is not linear. Right? I tell a story about, about me being a young kid and wanting to go off this diving board you know, as a way for me to show my, my community I, was, I, was, I had evolved from being a little bitty kid to being like a big kid, you know, going on, going up the ladder, off the high dive, into a pool. And for, for two summers, I would go up, come down, I would get scared, I would come back. And then finally I made it. I went up there to the, to, to the diving board and jumped off. But it wasn't linear, right? I didn't go from one day deciding to jump off the diving board and then going straight up and jumping, right? I have become a pretty good speaker, but it wasn't linear. Right? There were days I, I grew and felt really good about, about my progress. And then there were days or weeks where I, I feel, felt, feel, still feel like I suck. There are days as, as, as a football player or a basketball player or a soccer player where you feel like you're really getting the hang of it. And there, there are days you suck. Right? So all you can do is recognize that when you pull this thing back, 
and look at your life from 10,000 feet, you will see a line like this if you keep growing and keep learning. But if you dive in, if you, if you, if you get your telescope and really zero in on the details, you'll see it was like this along the way. It went up over time, like real estate market or stock market over the last hundred years. But if you dive into the micro details, the months and the weeks, it's like this, right? So accept all of it as just part of the, of the journey, the, the peaks and the valleys, right? Accept all of it with joy, with, with faith, with, with gratitude, because all of it makes you who you are. Even the losses, even the failures, even the setbacks make you who you are in life. All right, so I want to congratulate Live Vogue on a great game. I want to congratulate my boys, my kids, my son, who I didn't even mention scored a touchdown last night to put us up by nine, I think it was. Um, but it's not important, you know. Uh, I mean, it's important because I love him, but it's, I, I want him to grow from it. I want all the kids who played last night, all the parents who watched, um, to take away and learn what the, you know, what the real lessons are within these moments. So I'll recap, recap the five takeaways from last night. Christopher versus Live Oak. Number one, greatness comes with risk. It comes with risk. If you want to be great, you got to risk failure. Number two, honor the fight, right? You understand what it takes to be good and what it takes to be great at what you're doing, right? If you honor that, you will never lose. Number three, life is about moments, right? There will be a few moments along this journey that you can really shine and will really make all that work you do, right? It will, it will, it will make it worth it. So understand that all this grinding, all this pushing, all this studying, all this working is for a few moments that you would have in your, in your heart and in your belly forever, right? Number four, there are no absolutes, right? Don't walk around and, and, and do backflips and celebrate because, because you have one win or one, or one thing that went well. And then don't kill yourself or beat yourself up if you lose. It's all part of the learning process. It's all part of the journey. It's all part of the data that you take in to help change who you are and who you become. And then lastly, guys, remember, right? You're going to be who you want to be, I promise, if you keep pushing. You will get what you want, right? But understand, it's not going to be straight. You won't get up every day and be better than yesterday, even though that's what I preach. There will be days where you're worse than yesterday. But if you wake up with that mentality every day that you want to grow and learn, right, the overall theme of your life will be this trajectory, right? Even though when you dive in, right, and really zero in, it's like this along the way. All right, guys, so congratulations to, Chris, uh, to, to Live Vote and congratulations to my boys, uh, Christopher High Cougars. Uh, I hope both teams do well in the playoffs. And I hope you guys have learned something from, from Coach Bobby's takeaway from that game. All right, guys, enjoy your weekend. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.